Hey there guys, in today's video we're going to be doing a quick review of the Daisy 880 Powerline Air Rifle. So in this first part of the video we're just going to be going over some of the features of the gun and then we'll go ahead and move on to the shooting test. One thing of note about this rifle is it's capable of firing both 4.5mm BBs as well as .177 caliber pellets. If you're firing the pellets, you can load them into the breech here, just want to make sure that they're facing the right direction towards the barrel. On the other hand, if you're using BBs, you can load them into this reservoir here on the other side of the gun. Just close this back up. Coming back over to the other side, chambering a BB is just the same as a pellet, you want to pull this lever back. At this point, if you have BBs in the reservoir and you're holding the gun in a vertical position, the BB will then fall back down and be caught on this bolt and you can push it into the chamber position. During this process, I should also mention that you're going to want to have this gun on safe. Pushing this button in from the left hand side will put the gun on safe, pushing it in from the right will put it in the ready to fire position. Once you have a BB or pellet chambered into the barrel, as I mentioned earlier, you can pull this lever out. You're then going to want to pull it all the way to its fully extended position and then back down. Then you'll want to repeat that process depending on what type of ammo you're using. If you guys are using BBs, I've found that 4 to 5 pumps works pretty well. On the other hand, if you're using pellets, I usually pump it 9 to 10 times. Then once you guys are ready to shoot, you can aim at your target, push the safety off, and then pull the trigger. So in the kit that I'll link you guys in the description below, it should come with some BBs, some pellets, as well as a scope. The optic that comes with the kit is a 4x15 scope. If you guys would rather not mount the scope, you can also use the iron sights that are included. The front post is here, as well as the rear sight here. That's going to be about it for the features of this gun, though, so we're going to go ahead and move outside to do the shooting test. In the shooting test, I'm going to be using the .177 caliber hunting style pellets. I just find that the hunting pellets are a little bit more accurate than the BBs. But with that said, I'd like to give you guys specs for both types of ammo that you can use. If you guys choose to use BBs, you can shoot them around 750 feet per second. If you guys choose to use pellets, they shoot a little bit slower at 715 feet per second. But I think that's going to wrap up this portion of the video, so we'll go ahead, go outside, and start the shooting test. So in the shooting test today, we're going to be shooting from a distance of about 60 feet. I'll set some pop cans up downrange, and we'll get started. Someone's raised it. I guess we'll actually try and finish this one off. There we go. And we'll do it again. So one of the things I'm noticing is I might have to dial my sights a little bit. They seem to be shooting just off to the right. They're grazing the cans on the right hand side. But I still think this is a wonderful little gun for target practice. It can use both BBs and pellets, which I enjoy. But overall, I just really enjoy shooting this gun. So if you guys are looking to pick one up yourself, I'll have a link in the description to where you can find one. Other than that, guys, I'll have some anti videos on the right as usual and links in the description below if you're looking for more to watch. That's going to be it for today's video, though. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.